Okay. Yep, now it's recording. Okay, so in this video, I want to go over the arteries and veins on the cat that you're responsible for. So if we start out here at the heart, we can see this main vessel coming off the heart. This is the aorta. And so from here to here where it's going uphill, this is the ascending aorta. From here to here where it's in an arch, this is called the aortic arch. And then where the aorta turns down, we call this the descending aorta. And when it's located in the thoracic cavity, we call it the descending thoracic aorta. And so coming off the aortic arch, we have two vessels right here. This first one is the left subclavian artery. And that's going to travel up. And then once it makes its way over to the axillary region, we call it the left axillary artery. And then this is going to keep going and it's going to branch into the left brachial artery and the left subscapular artery going up. And the brachial artery is going to continue out across the arm. Okay, if we go back over here to our second branch, and this really, I guess, would be the first branch, this is our brachiocephalic artery. And if we follow this up, we see that it branches three times right there. And so the first branch is this branch. This is our common carotid artery. This is the left common carotid artery going up along the trachea. The next branch is our right common carotid artery going up along the trachea. And the final branch, this is our right subclavian artery right there. And just like on the left side, this is going to travel out into the axillary region where we call it the right axillary artery and it's going to continue along. The right subscapular is going to branch off, which I don't really see it on here. It may have been broken. And then it's going to continue out across the arm where we call it the right brachial artery. Okay, now if we get back into the thoracic cavity, this is our, again, our descending thoracic aorta. And then where this passes through the diaphragm right here, where I've kind of uh, opened it up. Now we're going to call it the descending abdominal aorta. And the first branch off the descending a abdominal aorta is this branch. This is called our celiac artery. And it has three main branches off of it. The first branch off the celiac artery is the hepatic artery. The next one is the gastric artery. And then finally we have the splenic artery. And note the splenic artery may branch several more times going to the spleen. Then if we come back here to our descending abdominal aorta, our next branch is the anterior mesenteric artery, which is going over here to the small intestine. Then if we continue along our descending abdominal aorta, our next branch is this little branch right in here. This is the adrenal lumbar artery. And this little nodule right here is the adrenal gland. And then if we continue down along our descending abdominal aorta, our next branch is our renal artery right there. Then we're going to continue down and our next branch, which I've very carefully preserved, this is our gonadal artery. And this is a male cat, so this is going to travel all the way down. It's going to travel through the spermatic cord and all the way down to the testicle down here. Okay, then we continue along our descending abdominal aorta and our next branch, this is going over to the large intestine. This is our posterior mesenteric artery right there. Then we're going to continue down along our descending abdominal aorta and this next branch right here, these, these are called the iliolumbar arteries, left and right. Then our descending abdominal aorta is going to branch uh, down near the the leg area. And so the first branch, this is called the external iliac arteries. This will be left, this will be right. And then we're going to continue down and we're going to branch a second time. And these are the internal iliac arteries, left and right. And then we have this caudal artery which continues down. Now if we move up back up to the external iliac arteries, they're going to continue out across the leg, at which point we call them the femoral arteries left and right. Now if we go and switch gears and go to the veins, this large vein 
anterior to the heart is called the precava. And then we have this uh, vessel coming perpendicular to the precava. This is the internal mammary vein right there. And then our precava is going to branch. It's going to branch into the right brachiocephalic vein and left brachiocephalic vein. The brachiocephalic vein is going to branch into the, in this case, the left external jugular and the left subclavian vein. And then the left subclavian is going to branch into the left subscapular vein and the left axillary vein right there. And then the left axillary vein is going to continue out across the arm, at which point we call it the left brachial artery. And then, or vein. And then it's going to continue out across the arm, make its way to the elbow, and start curving upward. And we call it at this point the median cubital vein. This would be the left. So that's the same on both sides. Now, uh, if we go posterior to the heart, this large vein is now called our post cava. And it doesn't really matter if we're in the thoracic or the abdominal cavity here, we're just going to continue down. So let me get this out of the way. Oh, the azygous, yeah, good call. Okay, here's the azygous vein right here. And this is pretty much coming straight off the precava and then turning and heading downward. Okay, so if we go back here, here's our post cava. Here's our adrenal lumbar vein. Here's our renal vein. And then we're going to continue down with the post cava. Not a lot's going on. We've got our iliolumbar vein, left and right, at here. And then if I look closely in here, the, pre or the post cava is going to branch into the common iliac arter or veins. So this would be the left common iliac vein, right on the other side. The common iliac is going to then branch. And so this little branch coming down here, this is now the internal iliac vein. And then the common iliac vein is going to continue out, at which point after the branch we call it the external iliac vein. And then the external iliac vein is going to continue out across the leg, at which point we call it the femoral vein. And then we've also got the hepatic vein in here. And we pay extra to get some of these cats dyed in yellow. And so Right, oh, right there, okay. So there is our, there we go, that's what I was looking for. There's our hepatic vein right there. And that's essentially bringing blood from the small intestine, which is just absorbed nutrients, and taking it to the liver to be distributed. And that's a good portal, portal vessel right there. So that's our hepatic portal vein. Okay, and that's it. And we also have the uh, pulmonary arteries and veins. If you see something associated with the lung that's red, pulmonary vein. If it's blue, pulmonary artery. And that's it.